Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 4 experience. And today we're at Long Neck Lugowski's, Lugowski's, um, cannery over by um, the lighthouse, and we're going to do the quest Mystery Meat. If it isn't my favorite customer, seven out of ten people prefer our Long Neck Lugowski's canned meat over even fresh Brahmin. Looking to try it for yourself? Okay, so you see that the up arrow hasn't got a word on it. That's because Ray Lee's not here. The game sophistication sort of goes out the window for the moment um, because uh, they expect you to come here when Ray Lee's here and Ray Lee's not here. Okay. So, minus the titles, this is the view that you'll see when you walk into Lukowski's and Ray Lee's here. So they're having an argument, you overhear the argument, and then you get the offer of clearing out his mole rats from uh, down in the basement, and that starts mystery me. The other way is to go straight to the basement, and that's what we're going to do today. Right, and on the way, what we'll do is we'll shut down the cannery robots because when we come back out of the basement, Theodore Collins will be hostile and so will his robots and that subsequently will lead to their destruction. So, we'll shut them down first and then proceed to the basement. Right, let's get this party started. Okay, so this video came around uh, the opposite way round because I was uploading a short the other day and then I took notice to my horror that the original film that I'd made, Mystery Mate, wasn't, hadn't been uploaded and, uh, and also had been uh, deleted from my hard drive. So, uh, subsequently I had to go back in time and find a save before the time I did the quest and this is where I am now. Right, we're at the basement. And Mystery Meat should initiate any time soon. And there it is. Excellent. Now this is a pretty straightforward dungeon. You go in, you kill everything, and then you get out. And that's the whole idea of this part of um, this quest. The mystery meat is basically to confront um, Theodore Collins about the substance that you find in his basement, which he's putting into his meat pies, which are making people ill. And that substance is mole rats. Not only mole rats, but also ghouls as well. Uh, and also dogs as well. And as you see in, in the cold room there, there's some dogs lying on the side there, you know, mongols and stuff like that. So that's what's been going into his pies. So that's what you have to confront him about when you get up top. Okay, so that's uh, right. So there's a number of legendaries in the um, in the dungeon, which you'll we'll, we'll come across in a minute. I mean, I could just jump up to the next level. I've got a jetpack, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go through because uh, some of these legends are a little bit tasty and uh, some of the equipment that they give on you is uh, handy to have, so I'm going to go for it. Okay, let's get this party started. Hey. Now you see that walkway above where we are right now, that is the way out of the dungeon and to, to confront Collins. Um, but yeah, if you, obviously if you've got the jetpack and go up there, then you can go and see Collins, sort out the quest and come back and kill these guys later. But if you kill them now, when you come back later, they'll be back again, so you get double bubble, if you know my meaning. And of course this dungeon is repeatable, just keep coming back over and over again. Okay, it's time to switch to the heavy gear because uh, now we're going to get the charred feral ghouls are going to be turning up, just appearing out of nowhere. We also, there's one there. I don't know. Is that one? Oh, it's a legendary charred feral ghoul with a star. I suppose the star means it's a boss, obviously. Um, and it would be a skull if I was lower level, so it's what, on the same level as me? I don't know. I'll have to work out what the stars are. I'm sure somebody out there will know. There's a lot of very intelligent people that play Fallout 4. Okay, so that's the first legendary item. It's not brilliant, it's not quick aim, it's under me. Anyway, let's get on. 
and there's probably going to be another legendary around the corner, possibly even a glowing one. This, I wish I'd done a V check on it just to see its level, but uh, yeah, I'm not even sure what my level is. I mean, I, I scanned through my old saves last night to try and find something. I found this save, so I mean, I've got the robotics perks, which helps with this quest. I've got the jetpack, which really helps with this quest. I'm trying to get out of their way. Hello, we've got a big one. Way, we just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. Right, let's jump over there. That's what I know about the jetpack. I mean, you can get out of their way. Whoa, well, now, ladies. Whoa. Hold on, son. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you about my equipment a little bit. I've got an ADX keyboard, you know, it's the one with the, the lights going across it, and uh, the up, down, left, right keys are all in the centre, just below the insert home page up, page down, end, and delete. And those are the buttons I use. It's also next to the right shift and the right control. Right shift, right control, uh, delete, page down, up, down, left, and right. Those are the, all the left hand controls, and they're all on the left hand and all in the middle of the keyboard. The other, the other control is all the mouse, isn't it? The, I chuck, I chuck grenades with, with the button five, I think it is, or button four, the one right at the back on the left hand side. I use, I always use these buttons with Fallout 4, right, and, and in that, in that sense. So, like, the peripheral vision in the center of the, of the body is, is good. Uh, the, the peripheral vision to the left or the right is not so good, and it takes a little bit more concentration to, to get, get it sorted. And that's why I always play with my hands close to the inside of my body. The two hands are close together, and they can work in unison. Uh, this is essential, I think, for these kind of uh, like three-dimensional games. Really. Uh, hello, we've got a legendary fell, a uh, charred fell call. Cool. Uh, concentrate a little bit on while this. Uh, <laughs> so, no, it seems to be. Oh, wait a minute, is it going to? Uh, no. Let's get Eddie's piece out. Finish it off. Right, where was I? Uh, okay, no. Uh, let's carry on with this dungeon first. That's, that's, that's about the equipment out of the way. I've done that, and let's carry on with the dungeon. Right, so we've got to go in the water. Ooh, very nice. Uh, yes, I can actually shoot through the hole in the wall if there's anyone out there. Yeah, that woke him up. So, in order to proceed to the next part of the exit of the dungeon, you have to go in the water. So, uh, let's go in the water. So, yeah, when you go in the water, obviously your weapon becomes unusable and you can't use it. I mean, it's best probably to put your weapon away. And when you come out of the water, the weapon's sort of stuck in place like it is there, you can't use it. So, you have to just literally swap out and get the other weapon out. Stop right there. Right, so that's the glowing one out of the way, but that isn't the final uh, level. We've, we've got to go through a, get another another doorway in, in a minute and fight another load of uh, legendary type. Uh, hello, where's he gone? Oh, he's dropped in the wall. I can't be bothered to get him. Okay, we'll, he'll be there later. We'll regenerate next time I come. Looks quiet, doesn't it? It certainly isn't quiet. They're all over the place. There's probably a glowing one, a legendary bloated glowing one. And who knows where else down there. There we go. Legendary charred fell to the spot. Beeping sound is there's a couple of machine guns on the upper level, and that's what that is. That somehow, it's uh, I don't know, the machine guns are there to, to actually kill the ghoul. Um, when the ghouls are dead, uh, the machine gun shuts down, so it's, that's the noise. Now 
that's what I'm talking about. Now that is a legendary item. Excellent. And it's also a useful tool. Right, some machine guns up here somewhere. Uh, hopefully I see it before it sees me. I can't see it at all. I don't know where it's gone. Um, I think, isn't it that way? Yeah, I think it's that way. I think the machine gun's over there. I'll go this way. Where the uh, fusion core is, I don't need the fusion core. I'll leave it there. Just in case it's, you know, I don't know if it's going to, you know, if you take the fusion core out, there's a couple of other mines. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we're in. Oh, right. So we're up to the upper level. Yeah, I don't know whether fusion core keeps factory running uh, the robots, uh, but it doesn't seem, nothing seems to work properly. Uh, anyway, so yeah, let's carry on. There should be. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so the next stop is to confront Theodore Collins. Now, the way I've. Uh, now there's a mine going off there, I can't remember what that was, but something blew up. It's to approach Collins with no gun in your hand, uh, and then you'll drop into the option of, oh, we could do this another way, and then you don't have to kill him. So this is the very reason why I've come here without a companion, because of course the companion could do anything, shoot them all, you know, and that would break the quest. You might not even be able to end the quest if, the, if Theodore dies before you get there, before you, you know, make the deal. I told you to stay out of the basement! Now that you know my little secret, I'll just have to kill you. And of course the deal is to become um, part owner in this factory and you come back later uh, and get the profits. And uh, yeah, so that's the subject of the short. Right, let's play this out. You'll see a, a bobblehead and a magazine in here, which I'll probably take prior to or after speaking to Theodore. But you can see I have no gun in my hand and that's the best way to handle it. Whoa! Bingo. Whoa! Nice. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, look! 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 It, it, it doesn't have to be this way. Look! Well, hey, we can. Uh, run this place together. I think I'm going to accept the deal because he's crackling and uh, me being in close proximity while he's uh, uh, like this might kill him, so I better get on with it. Fine, but don't cross me again. Oh man, I thought you were going to kill me for sure. Woo, here's your cut. I'll get this place cleaned up and I'll even give you a discount on the meat. Right, well that's this quest ended and sorted out the way I wanted it, which was you get a part deal in the, in the place and you just have to turn up every now and then and uh, collect your profits. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again soon. Uh, bye for now.